Hey everyone. Hey. hey. Can you hear me right now? I hope you can hear me. Oh, Adrian took my glasses and that was a soda. Welcome to MTG the Stack. Sorry for the late start. Uh, I One, I was getting my thighs rotated. Two, uh, there's some equipment change going on that you may or may not see. Uh, I may or may not have to rebuild the whole stream from scratch. The layout as Adrian puts on the glasses so he can't actually, I can't actually see his disappointing glare. Now is a smile because I'm calling him out, um, or or I'm or I'm just putting focus on him. It's one or the other. Uh, vote 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 down below on your phones. Uh, and also, I'm doing a whole whole fucking vibe thing uh, with uh, the lighting right now on the host shot because I only got the one there, but I got this, these bright ass yellow going on, and that's it. And 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 that I love that. Yes. Hey man, welcome to MTG the Stack. Today we got some exciting gameplay to lead off for y'all. Uh, twice in the last two streams, it was brought up to see uh, Azuri. Azuri. Azuri Infect was the uh, what was requested the first uh, weekend, that first Sunday, and we didn't actually know which Azuri it was. And then the second weekend, he was like, "Yo, where's that Claw of Progress deck?" And I, I learned a thing then. And then we got to build it. And now we built it. And now it's over there. So game one, you're going to be seeing, I think, if I remember correctly, um, I, I'm not the Mardu player. But after that, after you, after we see Calvin's, Azuri, Claw of Progress, try to progressively infect progress. Mardu gang, rise up! Gang, gang. <laughs> Everyone else is representing it but me today. Uh, we have, I believe, Aiden. Aiden's on Perforos? Yeah. Right, because I didn't really wanted to. He had a long weekend, and he really wanted to open the stream with just like cruise control. You know, he wanted to burn, burn, just burn, burn. I didn't. Was well, your weekend okay? Yeah, my weekend was okay. It was a good weekend. I was a little I don't know if you can hear him. I just he he's he's just grumbling so much right now. Um, but he sounds so angry. Guy, after that, I hear I hear you're on. You got some bones to pick with us, right? Yeah, really tiny ones. Really tiny bones. Yeah. I'm really excited to see Tiny Bones. We don't get actually get to see Tiny Bones uh, fuck around too much uh, in our gameplay, but there might actually be a good reason for that that I didn't voiced earlier. Uh, but you know, we'll 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 see how uh, how wild this uh this, this first game goes for our discard player here. And then Adrian, Adrian, what are you playing? Oh fuck, this is this is a problem. He's seen, he's gonna see my poor lighting. I'm playing Akiri, Fearless Voyager. Stacks Voltron, Marty Gang rise up. As you can see, Adrian has taken over me, and I guess that means I've taken over Adrian because I am now the Elf Blue player. Uh, while we haven't transitioned over to the game yet, we see Knight of Bawa dropping down ten dollars. Ten dollars for Team hashtag Team Ten Infect for Life. That that's that's the game we're riding today, Knight. You and me. Where Nazriel is hitting us with, I believe that's five pounds. 5e? Five, e? 5 German dollars. 5 German? I don't know anything currency. $5 Nazriel, Mardu Gain Rise Up. And Nazriel's being consistent. I'm sorry I'm letting you down today, but this was requested for a while, and I'm low-key kind of excited to mess around with cards I haven't played in a while. Uh, but that's all I got for the opening. Uh, if I look around at all my streaming data, it looks like the, nothing's crashing yet. Um, we may have mentioned, but 5 euros... Five German bucks is euros, Adrian. He's just thumbs up, up in me. You may remember from... You may remember from a couple streams ago that we were having some computer issues with Aiden's computer when it would just, you know, crash sometimes. Um, and that's part of the reason we did a lot of changes uh, with our infrastructure. But with that said, sort of like before, if you know there's any like technical stuff that you want to chime in about because we're being... I'm being a fucking donkey about it. Please let us know whether it's, you know, the music being a bit wild here or we can't hear our voices, whatnot. Unfortunately, I got to sit down at the table and I will need, you know, a professional or someone. Hey, hey, hit me. Our man Foley is going to be going to help out here with this problem. But if there is anything that you can uh, chime in with, let us know. Otherwise, uh, I, I'm going to turn on their mics and turn off mine. How does that sound? Does that mean they can hear me? Now they can. Here's a more important question. If I look into that camera, can they see me? Let's do that. Let's do that. Can they now? Yeah. What's up, bitches? All right, Calvin's going to go over here. We're going to play some fucking card game, right? And um, Calvin's going to go first, which puts me on last, which means my opener's not that great, but I'm keeping. How do your hands look? 
Um, good. My hands look like I'm gonna die to infect. All right, my my <laughs> hand also looks like I'm gonna die to infect. That's that's the game plan here. Cool. We'll be just fine. <laughs> We've got openers. We gotta play kick. You're not gonna die to infect. Nah. What do you have, Tramp? Uh, no, but I don't think he needs to. He's gonna play Bladed Agent. You're gonna die. Um, oh shit! You got, <laughs> you got card game? Yo, wait, fuck. Yeah, that right? Hold up. I I don't I wait. Zapdos is right there. Yo! One Zapdos. Two Zapdos. Three Zapdos. Three Zapdos. Four Zapdos. Four Zapdos. All right, let's, All right, let's do this. All right, cool. cool. Um, um, let, let, oh look, he's first. Your eye and the birdie. Keep your eye on the birdie. birdie. It's right here. See it? See it? See the birdie? See the birdie? You see the birdie? <laughs> you see the birdie? Turn it, Turn it over. Oh, oh. Nani. Nani. You get a good one. Me first. I get the good one. RW has a uh, first printing. Uh, Zapdos, OG Zapdos. Oh, um, and I need it. It's only $85. All right, Fool, are you, are you ready? Is this on, on us right now? Yeah, no, no, it's not on his face. Basically, you want to be shot? It, no, it's not, no, it's not on his face. Yeah, yeah, it's on that. One. One. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ein. Zvai. Zvai. Dry. Honden. Honden. Guys on the play. I expect that since there's an echo. Echo? Echo. 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 Are, both are both mics on? Mics on? Um, I, um, I believe I hit it, but just to be safe, fully, can you tap the top of the mic that's close to your face right now? Just like the top bit of it? Your, your, the actual, the actual mic, mic part. There you go. There you go. Stop. Wait, stop. Good. Good. You're good. You're good. Dude, is Dude, it is that muting it? That should, that be, should be muting it. It's red. It's red. got a red circle. Is that mute? Well, actually, I'm going to get up and double check. We have to, we check, have to because check because, again, again we've just, we just switched all of our, all of our computerization. computerization. Did you just, do your opening play? Yeah, I'm playing a swamp and I'm passing. It's not time. We don't have opening hands yet. Guys, it's not that high octane. It's not an echo. This is just how Calvin sounds unfiltered. Bingo, bingo. Yeah, bingo. 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 I'm gonna need you to make your favorite We gotta wait for no, we gotta wait for <laughs> Calvin to have an opener. I, I believe we've solved the echo. Okay. We do? I believe we've solved it. Oh, solved it, okay. Um and Calvin, as soon as you have an opener, I bet guy I bet you fucking money guy's gonna play this one. Thanks, chat. Ooh. Thanks, chat. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, chat. Chat, I don't know if anyone's told you today, but you guys are fucking looking nice today. You guys are pretty, pretty people. We and I gotta be honest, I wanna take you all on a date. We installed a camera in your house. <laughs> You ready? I don't understand what I'm looking at, so I'm gonna keep it. All right, you're up. Let's do it. It's a swamp, dun, and then I'll dun, draw a card. Dun, dun, dun. All right, draw for turn. Calvin, if you had to guess what I'm gonna do turn one, what would it be? Uh, it would be a turn one artifact somehow. It'd be fetch land, chromox, um, sigma. It's an Esper Sentinel. Oh! Oh, fish? <laughs> fish. <laughs> Pass the turn. Ooh. That's an altar I need. Yeah. I, I need. Just uh, Mystic Remore's art on Esper Sentinel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet someone's gonna. I bet. I bet money. All right, hear me out. I'm sorry, just brain pull tap pass. All right, all right. Choice. Draw. I'm gonna play a Myriad Landscape tap. Go. Do stuff, Excellent. do things. I'll draw a card. Stop. I'm gonna play a small. Yeah. And um, um, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get tiny. Esper Sentinel sucks. It's a dumb <laughs> card. <laughs> On tap, I'll keep draw. No, it's great, because you, there's no cumulative upkeep. That's true. Thing. Here's a Battlefield Forge. I'm gonna take the Sentinel and swing it at uh, Aiden. What? Your light tool's not gonna get taxed at all, Azuri. Or not sorry, uh, but Perforos. Who is that was shit. Pass turn. Oh, oh, I'm used oh, to it not being taxed. That's jitty. Oh no. Oh yeah. I don't like that. I'm used to just being left alone. Man, Adrian. <laughs> you're gonna right. draw a card. I'm gonna draw a card? Yeah. Are you guys ready to see how good Esper Sentinel is? It's kind of poopy garbo. Forest return. Tap I'm gonna play two. a talisman of creativity. Uh, curiosity. Trigger Esper Sentinel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? You're not gonna do it again, are you? Is that yeah, it's only the first time. It's only the first time. Is that a white right. card? Oh my god, it is. Once in a while, yeah. Just five more years of it and we'll catch up. I don't know. When I squint, it looks blue. Hardened scales. Ooh. Pass turn. We're in trouble. You sure are. Draw. Mm, not that one. But we'll do this one. Ancient Tomb. Um, and pass. Oh, you can just crack your landscape. Now. That's pretty fucking good. Draw. Yeah. Ancient Tomb. Oh, yeah. Um, play a land. One land. Ah, ah, ah. And then we can do this. Ha -ha. I'll play a Mox Diamond. That happens. <laughs> uh, we'll, I'm going to pay for it, and we'll pitch this uh, land that to the swamp. That's a thing that you do. And then we'll tap for a three, and we'll play this Chain of Mephistopheles. I hate that. Wow. You good? I'm good. I'm going to untap. Yeah. I'm going to draw for turn. I just remembered. We, we, I got that list for this Tiny Bones deck forever ago. Back before we actually, like... Tone made decisions on like power and stuff. This is fine. Chains isn't even that good. It's just expensive. Here's a Marsh Flask. I'm also thinking the Mox Diamond. I'm gonna tap two and equip Umazawa <laughs> Jet to Esper Sentinel. Yeah. Okay, I'd, I'd like it if you, I'd like it very much if you took 
One. Yeah. Trigger in Wazala Jit. Yeah. Would you fucking look at that? Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to fetch. Lose a life. We're going to wind up getting a... Do I need more red? I do. I'm going to shock as well and get a Sacred Foundry. Is this all cool? Yeah. It's a Bloodforged Battle Axe. So I'll tap it for. Yeah. And after that, I will just pass the turn. Whee! Draw for turn. Decisions. Jet. Oh, jet. Oh, right. jet changes the game. It sure does. Calvin, I don't think you have to worry about that jet too much. Yeah, I'm just not gonna let tiny bones ever live. Yeah. It's fine. Waterlogged growth. It happens. Okay. And then Bippity Boppity Boppity Boopity. I'm going to cast a cultivate um trigger. Would you like to pay one? I will not respond by pumping it. All right, that, that was that's why I said the thing. Uh, yes, I am gonna respond by paying one. I will not respond. Proceed. Okay. Well, you. I cannot. You can't. You well, no, I, 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 I can respond. You can respond before I pay. It. But yeah, right, but I can also respond to the fact that I'm breathing. <laughs> What do you think about that? What do you think about that? What do you think? So think about that. Let's leave that on the stack. Breathing's on the stack. Hold priority. <laughs> Get a couple of Islands. Yeah, Islands. One of them to play tap. One of them to not. Yeah. Man, this Archeo Mancer's map's gonna be sweet. Oh. Yo, hear me out, Iden. Pass. Uh, end of your turn. I'm gonna lose two life. Thank you. Got you baby. Practice some landscape. We're gonna get uh two mountains. You wouldn't be getting two mountains, would you? Ooh. Wow. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? Dunk it. Who would have dunked the bunk? Red's pretty good at ranting, huh? I think oh, I'm yeah. gonna play a Zapdos. Oh. Mm. And digivolve it into Zapdos? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I would like to tutor That's for it. Beyblade. Draw. That's not bad. Let's play one more mountain. Mountain. You're up at five. We're gonna lose two. Purple Toast? Purple Here toast. It is. There Purple it is. Toast. There was also. And then we're gonna play <laughs> Norin the Wary. Um, oh, oh that's not good. Can I see something here? I need to just know. Yes. Play, 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 our creature attacks. We were to... yep. Well, you can do it. Oh, is it bad to play? Cool. Oh, it is yep. Play. You, you, oh. you just save tiny bones, basically. Oh, well. Because I'm not letting that hang I don't out. Do that. I don't want to save tiny bones. That's bad. Mm. You're gonna get a cheat counter, or are you gonna I'm play gonna more? Get a cheat counter. Fuck All right. One cheat counter. You get to three and night, then you have to super chat. Yeah. Um, What's Iden without a cheat counter? Is that it? <laughs> Iden, is that it? Yo. That's a very dead tiny bone. So goodbye! Thank you, Sajit. <laughs> uh, Alright. Okay. Untap. Wary, uh, Drop. Or we have to be more wary. Uh, we will do... Kill legit, that's all. Easy. Kill Easy. legit. Right. Let's go... This... For a blood chief ascension. That's for Sentinel. Yep. You're not paying it? Nope. I will discard you in my center and draw a card. Nice! Hello. And then for my next trick, let's tap three for a Trinisphere. Happens. And then I'll pass. Oh, I'll untap. Draw for turn. We're gonna go with a basic planes as my line for turn. We are going to go into Combat. I don't think so. Actually. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, I'm thinking about if I want to try to start farming or if I want to start being a dirty, dirty poopy poopy boy. And I'm thinking a poopy boy is the right answer. Um, so I will. Oh, poopy. Pretty poopy. Um, this is very. I think I actually need to ramp. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to combat guy. Think. Uh, trigger shit. Main phase two. Map. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. He's right. a map. I'm gonna He's go. a map. I get one. Two. Where's my other players? I only play three players. Okay, it's a lively like seven, I think. This is why I settled on after remodifying the deck. Uh, there we go. Two planes. Add those to my hand. And I already have played land for turn, it turns out. I don't know if you guys knew that. So sure. I'm gonna add these planes to my hand. Sort of and then I'm just gonna pass to you, Calvin. Now I have fodder for this Chains of Mistopolis. Man. Yeah. 
Landra. Oh, Trigger Arcade Mantra's map? Yeah. Landra. Bibbidi bobbidi. Do you have a link for the. Is a link for the deck list in the uh, description? Uh uh, not for these. Okay. But there should be a. Um, right. Is the link to the Architect and Mo Moxfield in the. Uh, the Moxfield should be in the description. The Mox. Yeah, Mo all of these decks should be on the Moxfield. I'll not, add him real Not this one. I'll add him real quick. Azuri will be up there soon. Um. Progress. Zuri guy. Zuri happens. Actually, at some point. Well, the jet's out. That's the, that's got three butt. The, yeah, the jet can't kill it. Oh, oh it's yeah, minus it's one minus one, one. per. Yep. Yeah, it's plus yeah. two plus two yeah, yeah. for my characters. But so that happens. Zuri is very safe. Yeah. Azuri has entered the chat. <laughs> can please leave the chat? Azuri, can you please go home? You are drunk. Get out Azuri is after the chat and God has left. And then we pass the turn. Alright, because there's a turn sphere. Hunter. Drunk. Yes, sir. Indeed there is. Um, Honestly, land, which is unfortunate, but we can do some things here to stop some things. Lose two. Doing things to stop things is a good thing, I think. Hmm. I don't know though. Uh oh. If you don't know, maybe you know. I'm just gonna use that mana though. So, eh. Do it. Alright. Fine, we're doing it. For I, don't, I don't even know what it is. This is Indomitable Creativity. I destroy X target artifacts and/or creatures. For each permanent destroyed this way, its controller reveals cards from the top of their library. Until an artifact or creature card is revealed. Trigger S per Yeah. Alright, I will discard the planes and draw a card. I have no responses to this. Uh, what are your targets? Uh, it's gonna be a Trinisphere <clears throat> and I think swords. Swords. Swords, you mean jet? You're a jet, yeah. The battle axe isn't a bad choice. The jet's gonna stop jet him from is gnoring, gnor, 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 Jit is gnor. gonna kill everything I play. Yeah, Jit's gonna keep killing all your stuff. Yeah. That's just how that card works. It's just a problem. I kinda wanna leave it in play for some reason, but no. It's, it's gonna be Jit, and it's gonna be it's okay. either Azuri or Trin. I think it's Trin's here in the long run. And what happens when they get destroyed? Uh, you guys revealed from the top of your library until you reveal an artifact or creature card, and then you exile that card. Those players put the exile card in. <laughs> well, you're I was conceived. about to reread it, but then you're going to. Then you chaos warp into an artifact or creature. Okay. Did you keep, yeah. keep warping yeah, until you get one? You keep going. And it comes into play? Yeah. This is fine. I do have a response after targets. I'm going to take two counters off, and I'm going to gain six life. Or, sorry, four life. Cool. Beep, 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 beep. And then that happens. Okay. And then, uh, guy, you go first. Boop. Boop. It's Don't a map. Me. It's a map. Don't hurt me. Then, where do these go? It's a blank Chromox. Do they go into the deck or into exile? Exile. I'm pretty sure. Right. Probably shuffle them afterwards or something. Control reveals cards from top of the library until an art. Okay, so uh, they never leave the top of the library technically. I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. They never leave the top of the library, but then shuffle. Great. Okay, so shuffle it in. Okay. All right. Is that it? And that's all I got. All right, because you ancient tomb, you lost two life. Quest counter. Yeah, one quest counter? Yeah, one. Sorry. Unfortunately, it doesn't do very much. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't do everything. Shame. Shame. Should have, you get a free artifact or creature. Yeah, the Chrome Box was about the worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. Untap. Like that. Drop. I think I have a plan for Blood Chief Ascension. Oh, okay. Cool. Not, is it killing kill him? <laughs> is it killing him? No, no. It's not actually murder. Well, that deck wants to get like. A I'm just going to put this Chrome Box on everybody and then it doesn't look great, right? So. I'll play a pit. Cabal pit. Cabal bit. Um, pit hat. Yeah, we will do one of these. Hat wag. Six. What's, how big is that? Plus two or plus three? Plus two. Plus two? That's three over there. Yeah, we can't that. Um, boom. It's Mr. Bones. Bones is good. Pass. Um, I will. On tap. Fish. No upkeep. Draw. Um, sorry, not sorry. Here's a planes. This is my land for turn. Um, then let's tap for three and play monastery mentor. Oh boy! Oh my God! Is that cool? 
Yeah, that's sweet. We cool? I love Monastery Mentor, yeah. Same. Here's a Borrow Signet, Trigger Mentor. Yup. Trigger Prowess. Yeah. Cool. Um, do I want other stuff? I think so. Pro you're probably right. I don't think I'm gonna get Obby agent right now, so. Uh, Dark Ritual off? Yeah. It's oh, definitely. Just, like, it came into play. It off came into play off of that. Uh, that what's the name of that card? Uh, Indomitable Creativity. Indomitable Creativity. Dreadnought says isn't Chrome Mod's imprint on uh, an, an ETB. Oh my god! It yeah. is actually. Yeah. 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 Holy crap! Um, well, I haven't played anything that I, so I guess I'll do it, because that does change a few things. Um, let's say there's a red blast underneath it. Blank. You're lucky, Azuri, that I don't actually think I want to remove you yet. Um, <laughs> he's not. He's so this is actually bad. mana, is my understanding. Thank you, Dreadnought. Yes. Thank you, Dreadnought. You're big backhanded pimp um <laughs> let's go to combat and i'm Aiden. yeah you're turned off so why don't you take one how many quest counters does this need it needs just two. one right? two it needs two one. three or more three or more three or more which is why i'm attacking Aiden for one are you sure about that it's that whenever a card is going to the opponent's graveyard from anywhere blood chief ascension has three or more quest counters on it you may have that player lose life and i gain two life he's gonna make a quest counter happen anyways how's that he's gonna play a creature Right. Okay. Which means it's going to be turned on before he untaps, so he can do a discard effect, which would be pretty oh, yeah, painful. Yeah. And I don't know if this one damage is worth giving that a quest counter. It's not going to give it one. Does you lose two life? Yeah. Oh, it's lose two it life. Won't give him a quest. Yeah. Holy donk! Oh, it has to be a loss of life. Okay. It, yeah. The then damage shouldn't have gotten a counter off this. He did. No, no. It's, it's damage is loss of life. Loss oh, of damage life is a damage. Oh, it's yeah. a one-way street. So I'm going to have you taking one. Okay. I'm still just attacking for one. Is that cool? Yep. I'm, I already took it. I'm down to three. I'm going to tap three and cast my commander at Carry Fearless Voyager. I'm gonna pass. Whee! Woo! Do these one ones have prowess? God damn it, Monastery Mentor. They so sure do. Up. Yeah, I I'm pretty scared. This, this is gonna do something. Yeah, it's, it's not good. <laughs> I don't feel safe. What's the matter? Well, you don't I cast feel, the copies. I feel tiny. I feel tiny. No, but like, they t they work with the Kiri, so I'm just gonna like. Um. Yes. Um. Okay. All right. I have cards in my hand. Seems good. Show cards. Not to me though. Lots of cards, lots of mana. Not to you. I helped, I helped. I would like to play Arbor Elf. That happens. Cool. You know what happens when I play Arbor Elf? You get a thing. Experience. I get experience. You are experience one. Cool. And then I would like to tap for three. Woo! Three. I want to play a Trigon Predator. That's a good That's one. That's a good oh, fucking card. Hell yeah. That's a real good card. No. Beep. Hell yeah. Wait, no, Calvin, do more. Do oh. more things. I'm going to play a Rot Wolf. Good God, we're in trouble. Oh, yeah. Yes. Beep. It's infect time, boys. Uh, not quite. You didn't even trigger the Esper Sentinel. Such respect. Enter combat. Yeah. Beep. Yep. Yep. Cool. It gets haste? No. no there's no haste. No, no. It just gets fucking thick. That's a big boy. Missouri thing. Claw of Progress really wanted to come down sooner, but I. You're really cool too. Still got some. Only I had Dragon Stand. Or Dragon Magistrate. Quack. <laughs> Didn't draw it. <laughs> we are going now to. Okay. Uh, three power? Yeah, fuck that. Pass. Aww. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome, Aiden. I saved you three life there. <laughs> What a sweetheart. What a nice man. What a nice man. Aiden's just now getting acquainted with what he actually has in his hand. He's like, all right, what's going on here? What are magic cards? I am not the Digi Destin. Destin. Let's actually start things off with losing two. Nice. Not yet. So I'm just not. It'll do it. It'll do it. Adrian, there's a the challenge to you. What's the challenge? 3v1 Arch Enemy, or, uh, $100 budget deck versus your Yuriko deck. If you lose, you have to die as a friend of your hair paint. Done. No. D no, done. <laughs> I want to do done. this. I done. Do this. Done. done. As a matter of fact, I'll do it with the budget Yuriko deck. I want to do this. And, do, if I lose, and if I lose, I'll dye a lot of my hair pink. I'll have Rachel's right over there. I'll have her give me yeah. pink streaks. Let's do this. You, you fuck with me, Nazriel. Fuck with me. And I'll send you pictures, and I'll be fucking topless. <laughs> so everyone takes two. One, two, yep. one, two, 
one, two. Wow. I'm surprised that's the first time someone's tried to alter someone's body. Let's based get on a bat. wary. <laughs> uh, well, but one, two, one, two, one, two happens. Okay. Nah. Oh. All right. End step. Trigger that blood chief. Untap. Draw a card. See how see how bad this card is. That's what chains is not that good. <laughs> like chains is. Don't it's get me like wrong. So in the decks, it's good in. It's like a solid piece, but it's not. Just play Hall Breacher. That's a card. I'll, That's a card that does something. I'll play a Wasteland. Yep. Um, you want a Wasteland and Battlefield Forge, pussy? No. Okay. That sounds silly. You're scared. I'm spooked. Um, we got six mana here. Yep. Well, we're definitely going to do this. Right. Damnation. Damnation. We'll go for five. Damnation? Um, what? We'll cast Liliana. Oh, true. That's for Sentinel. Okay. Okay. Draw a card. I you have to discard actually. a card. I actually have to draw a card. I'm going to dip out. You're going to dip out with Norn? Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, you dip out. And then I'm going to discard Stoneforge Mystic? Yeah. Any spell. And I'm going to draw a card. Yep. Proceed. Um, so this comes in at five. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put her down to tutor. Two. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a tutor. Uh, you're tutoring to the top, right? No, it's hand. To top. No, it's, no, it's, top. Oh, it's top. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on. Do you got anything else? Um, after that, no. You, um, you can. So make sure to show them what you turn into the top, and I'll start my turn. Yeah, and then I'm gonna lose a life and um, oh. draw a card, but then yeah. I also have to discard. End of card. turn. Okay. Norn enters, and this yep. does happen. Yep. Yep. Cool. I have a curiosity. What's up? Can you, you get rid of that tiny bones? Me? Yeah. Potentially. Draw for turn. No. Potentially. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. Did someone lose my life? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna tap for two. Isn't that Fuego? Discard this. You showed him what you got? Yep. I'm gonna tap for two. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip Blood Forge Battle Axe, right? Yep. To, um... Yeah. Yeah! To Monastery Mentor. Is that Fuego? Yeah. Cool. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Cool. Guy? Yeah. One, two. Three, four. That's a one, two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll take eight. Take eight. Um, well, before that happens, Akiri will trigger. I will discard a mountain and draw a card. Cool. And then this connects, so I'm going to get a second Blood Forged Battle Axe coming into play. This is what Blood Forged Battle Axe is looking like right now. Um, so there's my Blood Forged Battle Axe, and that has entered. And then in my second main phase, I will tap for two. I'm going to put a Blood Forge Battle Axe onto an Akiri Fearless Voyager. And then I will pass the turn. So, quick question. Um, did that trigger during my turn, that Norn? Yeah. Oh, so this has a third quest yeah. counter on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and because you discarded a card, I will gain two life. And then at the end of your end step, because you discarded a card, I will... If that happens at end step? More end triggers yes. on the attack. Oh, that makes me sad. Yep. Um, oh, spell is played. Trigger him. Yeah. Yep. No one's gonna do a thing. So I'm just gonna do this before his end step because I wasn't aware that that was on. Yeah. So yeah. If that's exile. Yep. And, and then that add end step. He's gonna come back again. Be good to me, Calvin. I'm still discarding a card. Oh, be good to you. Trigger this. Oh no, too. I will not discard right. a card. Does that trigger off? Or does the path? Yep. Person? Yep. Oh, sorry. Also, <laughs> you lose two life. It's a good fucking card. <laughs> Nor any ATBs. Yep. Everyone loses two. Cool. Me. And now Calvin, I have nothing else. I is a threat. Me? No, dude. I thought, dude, come on. I helped make things happen for us. You... Hmm. What did you help make happen? I got rid of the Trinosphere, the swords. Come on. The Jit? Or the Chit? The yeah, Jit was. The Jit did good stuff this game. You guys are happy I had a Jit. It was pretty legit. It was a pretty legit Jit. That Jit was too legit to quit. The Trinosphere, though? Come on, man. Come on, man. I hooked you up. What? Sweetie, sweetie. Sweetie, sweetie, I'm coming for your booty. All I'm saying is, you don't gotta kill me. <laughs> you don't got, I'm not the one. It don't gotta be like that, bro. It doesn't have to be like this. Yeah, no, see, here's the thing. Blood Chief's Ascension is really spooky. It is. Mm -hmm. This is horrifying. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, hear me out. Tiny Bones is drunk and needs to go home. Hear me out. Where's your Cabal Confers? I'm gonna... Enter combat. Yes. Huh! Is that cool? It's cool. Uh, Actually, wait. Calvin's gonna do this, right? Yeah, you're gonna play another creature, right? Just to make, just to be safe, I'm gonna cast an Ozolith. Hey, uh, oh. you're paying for it, I assume? Yeah, I did. Okay, that happens. An Ozolith? Yeah. That's not good. 
No, no. that's not good. That's Anyways, very bad. combat. Um, have you heard of a uh, team tap? Yeah. <laughs> it's every day, bro. I got that Disney Channel flow. I'm dead. Yeah. Rock Wolf to Guy. Oh, I'm sorry. You cast this spell, this guy. Yeah, dead. he's gone. Um, <laughs> See you, guy. Now that, on the other I'm, hand, I'm, Tiny Bones did not win, but that is an example of how horrifying it can get fast with Tiny Bones. The infect player has to kill them in turn five. The Trigon Predator is actually going to be coming at you. Yes, no, that, that is fine. I was just the most vulnerable. Um, I killed my blocker. And I am going to be throwing the Azuri Claw of Progress at me. At three. I'm not going to block yeah. the Trigon Predator, so I will take two. I'm not blocking the Azuri. Take okay. three. Who would you like to target with Trigon? Uh, the Sentinel. Mm, the Sentinel? Yep. Not the axe. Mm. There's two axes. Yeah, it's gonna get worse. Yeah, the axe just keeps getting worse. Yeah. Um, there's no thingy. Um, so I can actually draw cards off the Sentinel. So I'm actually gonna flaw. Not, nah, fuck that. It's it's dead. I don't trust Ibn not having read the board. <laughs> it's gone. It's a very dead Sentinel. Guy, thanks so much for coming. Pass! On yeah, top. They're gonna That was pretty horrifying. Oh, wait. End of your turn, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colin, yeah, I think we need to make that alliance. Yeah. What? Um, let's see. We're gonna play Mountain. Yes. We're gonna play. Let's see here. We're gonna lose two. We're gonna have one floating after this. One floating. Uh, Ember Maw Hellion. That happens. Trigger, trigger. Uh, read it out loud. If another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals that much damage plus one to that permanent or player instead. It's outstanding. Plus one. Okay. So he ETBs. He's he, he one, exists two, three. where it happens. So one, two, three. It happens. All right. And then he goes away. He's wary. Um, we got one floating. So let's. You, let's just do this. Yeah. Moment of rebirth. All right. Trigger. Um, nothing. And then I get to flip trigger. Away. Nothing. Jesus Christ. So we get two dudes. We'll take six. Uh, uh, yeah, take six. And then we flip a coin. Uh, yeah, you got a coin, Kevin? Peach is my enemy. You want to get it? Yeah, here you go. Uh, Peach is your enemy? Yes. Man. Sweet. I get it back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good to go. That's all, folks. End of turn. Nor in the Weary comes in and deals three to Three to both of us. Yep. Ooh, cool, cool. Baby, On tap. Let's go. Draw for turn. Here we fucking go. Here we um, go. Here we go. Go to combat. Yeah. Aiden, I'm gonna attack you with the Kiri Fearless Voyager. Calvin, I'm gonna attack you with Monastery Mentor. Trigger, trigger. Cool. Yeah. Do your triggers. Yeah. Okay. Pass priority. Um, how much is she coming at me for? Um, she is coming at you for five. I'll take five commander damage. Sure. Calvin, does, you does the battle fat axe need to connect to? Yep. To my face? To, to your face. To, I believe it's to face. Hold on. Is it more robust than I thought? To, to a, a player. player. Yep. To a player. Yo, uh, yeah, I will actually block the Arbor Elf. Okay. Kill it. Um, And before damage, we are going to tap the green pool for one color, tap the Arbor Elf, untap it, tap it for the other color, and I'm just going to cycle Pro Spiral. That's fine. Wait, did you cast a spell? Yeah. Sorry. He's doing the way. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, by the way, I get to put the land down. Yep. Uh, that's How many lands do you have right now? How many lands do you have? I think you pick triggers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I'll do that. Our elf does. All right, cool. Um, we're in our second main phase now. Um, one of these Bloodforged Battle Axes did connect. So um, we're going to use this to represent another Bloodforged Battle Axe. I'm going to tap for two and put another Bloodforged Battle Axe here. Cool. I'm going to flip these upside down so that it's a little bit more obvious that they are not... We'll get you some pretty battle axes. Some pretty we'll battle axes, that'd be sweet. It's gonna be my penis. <laughs> I want that to be the case. <laughs> um, then we have some other things that we need to do, because I don't trust Calvin anymore. I don't trust Man. any of you. I don't trust Aiden, I don't trust Calvin, I just don't trust anybody. Yeah, they shouldn't. Um, and because of that, we're gonna start by tapping for two and playing SRAM Senior Edificer. Mm -hmm. Man, I can be your friend. Can you? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You don't have to be friends. All right, no, I, see, Calvin no, is good. speaking my language right now. We're gonna tap for a white, like a, like a tap, I messed up my tap, but that's fine. I'll tap for white and play Giver of Ruins. Okay. Nice. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, then I think we will have to, that thing's a four or five, that's a big Zamboni, Aiden. 
I thought we could be bros, but I don't think we can be bros. Um, I don't. Yeah, I'd never attack you. I just don't trust you at all. Um, I'm gonna tap for two. Yeah. I'm gonna play rip apart. That's gonna trigger monastery mentor. Mm -hmm. Another one. Jeez, um, and, and I'm just gonna pop your plate in here. Uh, and I'm gonna destroy it as destroying an artifact, just in case you got something up your sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> um, after that, Calvin, I will pass to you. Oh, Norman of... comes in. One, yeah. two, three. One, two, three. Man, that is rude as fuck. Indeed. Wee. spells. Yeah, stupid us. So dumb. We're so stupid. <laughs> right? Hey, man. Hey, Adam. Am I done? I want to cast Slip Through Space. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. I'm going to draw a card. <sighs> oh, I, I, We're yeah. dead. We're so dead. Trigger Norin. Run away. Run Norin. GG's. Uh, I'm going to put this here. That happens. Slip Through Space is so fucking good. Um, Calvin's counting. He's counting crows. 10 equals me dead. Yeah? Yeah. Is that how it works? Oh, yeah. Man. Man. Man, I think I lose. Well, if it helps, well, your life total is low, but as long as you leave enough blockers, my Akiri cannot farm like it could before. Yeah. I need multiple opponents to start drawing. I can draw one extra card a turn. What other cards do you really need? I mean, <laughs> low key, I, I'm just dead in one hit, so I don't know. Yeah, we're in like a harsh kingmaker mode. It feels like, um, and like this, this, this can just like be really mean to me. Oh, that's right. That's a giver of runs. Yeah, that's right. I forgot how good that you're card is. Twelve. Mm -hmm. My light total doesn't matter. Not at least not if you're going away. Well, if if yeah, if I go away. But if you kill me, it's gonna be at the same if, time. If I live, you're just dead. The problem, the problem is, is that um, he might be too. Yeah, because you're doing multiples of three. So four more creature ETBs kills me. It takes five to kill Calvin technically, but once we're already at that point, your Norn just sees anything and Calvin dies. Yeah. It's complicated. Basically, I don't have a choice is the moral of the story here, right? Basically. Um, You should probably come through up, up high with your Trigon too. Better make a choice soon, Calvin 14. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. You've been adding the double the counters, right? Yeah. Well, it's just plus one, actually. Or right, plus one. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we will turn ink off cre Nexus into a creature. Here it comes. Oh. You see, it's not quite enough. We didn't, we didn't like draw exactly what we needed, and I'm not even sure what that was. Um. But ink off Nexus is a creature. We're gonna enter combat rounds. So. Give an Inkmoth Nexus plenty of juice. Yeah, Inkmoth Nexus has juice. Um, but with that said, um, no, we'll just hide him. Yeah, beep beep. You're not gonna swing with the Inkmoth though? No. What? Why? Okay. You're you're yeah, yeah, you're done. done. Yeah, you're out of here. I just figured you'd swing that Inkmoth at Adrian. Nope. Thanks. I, uh, I like him not doing that actually. Yeah. That Eggmoth Nexus is a very powerful blocker right now. Yeah. Uh, and you know how many colors this has? None. None. Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, luckily, I can give it protection from colorless, but then I can't protect it from everything else. So. Alright, so Aiden is out of the game, and I am about to start my turn. The important part is it's not green. <laughs> the important part is it is not green. On tap. Let's, um, let's make a middle row oh, here. You're worried about that. Because there's a lot. Hmm? Yeah, th th there's a chance. With, like, if I have the right draw, Calvin is just dead. Yeah. Um, I don't have it right now, so Calvin's not in the worst spot. But um, that's how we're gonna do it. The, the, these guys up front. Actually, these guys up front. The equipped boys player, can be up so front. Kill him next the not equipped boys can be in the back. Or almost. Draw for turn. Ooh, that's My very close. Creature. We're gonna try some stuff. We're gonna start by tapping for three and playing Fire Shrieker. Oh, yeah, just so it'll trigger Sram and Monastery Mentor. So um, this. We have you to do that. One I want to draw a card. Yeah, if I can get one. Summoning sick. Summoning sick. Right, you take that back, and it'll be me. This will be my summoning sick one one. Everyone ignore that. And then I drew a card because I have a SRAM. That is a fire shrieker. 
Um, and then, do you do anything? I'm hesitant to say you don't. Um, do I have enough mana to make you work for me? Probably. Good prediction. What's that? You dying to Oh, fight. yeah. <laughs> hey, man, that was a Blood Chief Ascension. So, it was a lot. No, he had a lot. I played Fire Shrieker. Why am I tapped for four? I don't, so I played tap three to play Fire Shrieker. Now I'll tap one, two, three. Lose two life, because that doesn't matter. Dreadnought says Ink Moth stops becoming a creature at step. It does. He can yep. reactivate it. He can oh. keep reacting. Yep. He just didn't want to attack with it. The counters will stay. Yeah. I'm going to play Imperial Recruiter. Yep. Okay. What is the best thing? The best thing is something that lets me get through. And Calvin, i got to be honest with you. I don't think there's a lot that's actually going to let me get through, necessarily. Um, so I'm wondering if there's like a way I can not die. And um, this Blink Moth Nexus does do the job of turning off your... Th this this Megas of the Moon turns off the Ink Moth Nexus. Yes. Um, so then well, we've can got... Can he activate it before? Um, he can. Would it retain? If he activates Ink Moth Nexus when I play a Megas of the Moon, will it retain if creatures Does it retain a creature in addition to its land type? Yeah. Or does it replace? It, yeah. It, the, the, the ruin you look up is the Dryad Arbor. Yeah. So Calvin's going to look that up real quick. Anyone in chat, if you think you know the answer, definitely let us know. This has not come up for us yet. But that's the one that's kind of on my mind, right? Um, just turning that off and trying to go, go, go. It will retain creature subtypes, if not a follow-up. It will retain, I believe, Night just of Just for the turn. Yep. That makes sense. It's the same reason that uh, your Urza Saga will retain the enchantment subtype. Would, would it and Saga subtype. Keep it for the turn or just stay a creature at that point? I believe it would... Wouldn't it just stay as a creature? Uh, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> it is a land and a creature. So does anything have trample, Calvin, or unblockable naturally? No. And does Azuri do anything to facilitate that? No. And the Ozolith needs a creature to leave play in order for you to move the counter turn to track on Predator? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All of those things considered, um, I do think I am, in fact, going to get Magus of the Moon as a defensive play against just getting Ink Moth Nexus. So I'm you're gonna activate it before I cast it because yes. I am gonna cast it. Smart. 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 Yeah, and then I will tap for three, leaving up this, I guess, and play Magus of the Moon. After that point, an that animated Ink Moth Nexus doesn't lose flying or infect, but right. it will stop being Ink Moth Nexus. Most importantly, you can't reactivate it next turn. Yes. At least as of right now. That's the big thing. Well, I'm I was about. wondering, does it retract to being a? It will, it will stop being a creature at the end of the turn. Okay. Yep. This still has. This that. is an end of turn effect. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah I wasn't and then sure if it comes to land again, can't reactivate it. Mm -hmm. And now what I have here is interesting because I think I'd like to draw a card, so I need to offer up an ante. Calvin, I'm going to swing at you with a 1 1 with a Blood Forge Battle Axe on it mm -hmm. and trigger Kiri. And pass priority. Um, I'm going to block the Ink Moth Nexus. The Ink Moth Nexus block is good, and since it's going to deal in fact to my creature anyway, even if I give Indestructible, it will die to effectively wither. This one one will die. Me. This is just a Bloodforge Battle Axe. No. I'll put it over here with the rest of the armory. After that, I think I'll play my land for turn. Yeah, I haven't played one yet, I don't think. It's a mountain, Flooded Strand. And then um, I will tap for two. And I will use this, take this Fire Shrieker. And I will equip it to this Monastery Mentor. Neat. And then this is a Bloodforge Battle Axe that's unequipped. And then these can come back to my front row. Calvin, I'm going to say go. All right, this is no longer a creature. No longer a creature. Magazine is in play. I can't do Jack Diddly Dot. Jack Diddly Dot. Drop a turn. You don't help me. Tap a blue. Tap a blue. I'm going to cast Heartful Dodge. Gives it unblockable? Yeah. Calvin, I'm super dead. Is it thing? Hell <laughs> yeah! <laughs> But, before you kill me, I will give all my creatures an destructive. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, want me to close it? Yeah, yeah. I'll, you had another. <laughs> he had another. He had Artful Dodge. <laughs> uh, I fucking <coughs> absolutely <coughs> love this security deck. Oh, it's brutal. It just fucking goes. Hey everyone, how you doing today? I just, I just infected the board. Who, 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 who got, who got Calvin to play Infect? Because that's going to stick around now. Nope. That was, that felt good. Felt I just, I just want everyone to know that. Why did you guys do that? I, because, because we chose violence today. today. Let's just move the camera more into the darkness. Uh, besides the big old TV in the background, yeah? Uh, El, no, that's not true. 
Listen, listen. El Arduriga. Sometimes it feels like Calvin is a ninety percent win rate. I wouldn't say so. Now, I would just say that uh, this is our first time actually messing around with Infect, and I just happen to be the pilot. Yeah. Uh, Cal Calvin has pro Calvin has probably like a thirty-five percent win rate, which is quite good for EDH. It's. Yeah. yeah. I think that's pretty good for EDH. That is good for EDH, but it's also also just a factor of like it's you and me that are in most games. Right? Yeah, we play more games than so everyone like, else. Just so like, we both have a slightly higher win rate just because we fucking play more. It might, it might not even be a higher win rate. It's just like we win more we're in more games, more. so you yeah. see more wins. But listen, listen, everyone, listen, everyone. That was game one. We're about to set up for game two. I actually had to get my laptop in order to set up for game two because I'm pretty sure if I open up uh, Photoshop, my computer will blow up. Um, with that said, if there's anything y'all would like to see, right, you should comment it into the... the Especially if you want to see the Yuriko Arch Enemy game, because I'm all in. We're... I'll fucking you, throw the game just to die my hair pink, I swear to God. See, that's the problem with the challenge, Naz. He's just going to do that anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, but look, look, look I, I, Adrian, do you want to do that Arch Enemy nonsense? Oh, yeah. No, if, if, it's, if it's what they want, I, I am a man of the people. Okay, look, I want to see more people uh, chime in. I, I see Nazriel and I see Doriga saying, uh, want to see that Yuriko game. But I do see, I want to see more Infect. I want to see more Akiri. Um, and then there's just other conversations there. Please comment into the chat box any decks you want to see coming up. We are going to set up for the next pod, though. It won't be that Arch Enemy game because I want to see the chat talk about it a little bit more. Iron's talking to me right now. What? I, I was going to suggest let's do a pod with Akiri and Infect again. Put Foley into the mix and... We'll get back to the challenge. Yo. Okay. So we are going, and then I'm seeing a call for Karametra.